What's up, everybody, and welcome to another video preview or Pixelmon video preview. Today, we'll be doing the Shiftry line, which is C. Nuzleaf and eventually Shiftry. So maybe it just has a special place in my heart, but I don't know. I've, I've remember using Siftry with my original playthrough, um, playing on my DS back in the day. I can't remember which one it was. I think it was Diamond, right? That's that's. I, I want to say it was Diamond and Pearl. Um, but yeah, so I don't know. I just I love Shiftry. So as you can see, we have all these images right here. They all are very very small, but um, this model is done pretty well. Uh, obviously, it's not a legendary, so not nearly getting uh, those huge attention as we've done a legendary. Every single Pokemon we've done in the series so far has been a legendary, despite the Shiftry line. So we do have C dot right here, looking like the beautiful little acorn it is. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's it's pretty cute. I mean, uh, I'm gonna be excited to see these guys in forest biomes, just wandering around on the forest floor. I'm sure it'll be really low level, really, really tiny. I mean, in comparison to, like, the little caterpillar guy, Caterpie. And, um, I don't know. It's just going to be really funny, really cute. When it does evolve, it does get a bit more interesting with Dot. As you can see, Dot is quite the beautiful Pokemon. And But, again, it's really basic. I mean, the two little acorn-type things going on for it. And with the little, it's like, it looks like the baby's hair. So, this is like a teenager. I mean, I feel like this, the shift stream line, it really resembles, like, human evolution quite well. I mean... This definitely looks like a teenager, and this definitely looks like an evil, mean, green adult. I gotta admit, this model does look quite nice. I'm quite happy with how this comes out, or how it came out. It, it resembles it well, because it is a dark-type Pokemon, which we'll get into, obviously, more in a second, but... It just, it, I think it came out really well to resemble what a shifter should look like. And um, it obviously could use some minor touch-ups uh, from, from to place to place. It has not been accepted yet. But it, nonetheless, it does come, it did come out really, really well. And I am quite pleased with it. So now if we go into Bulbapedia, it all starts with CDOT, the acorn Pokemon. Did I call it a nut? No, no, I said an acorn. So, um, yeah, and it's pretty much basic. I mean, there's not too much crazy about here. Um, it's going to probably spawn in a forest. I, I, I imagine that. A forest or a jungle. Maybe a jungle. Probably a jungle. And... Um, Maybe both, who knows? But yeah, so if we do scroll down, we can look at its learn set. All pretty much basic moves. Obviously, if you do keep it as a C dot, it can learn explosion at level 43, which part of me wants to just level up a C dot to level 43 just to teach it explosion because that would be awesome. And uh, obviously, going to be able to learn Sunny Day, which I think is kind of funny. I mean, I don't know what a C dot would do with Sunny Day, but otherwise, it will evolve at well, level 14. Yeah, so it will evolve into a Nuzleaf at level 14, which I'm sure most of you guys will do. And this is where it gets kind of interesting. It is a grass and dark type Pokemon, which, again, pretty nice. I mean, I do like that. It does have the ability Chlorophyll, which is a quite good ability. And um, so if we do scroll down, it is pretty much same, some of the same stuff as before. Nothing too crazy about Nuzleaf. Uh, nothing too crazy about Shifter either, but it's just a cool Pokemon. And if we do scroll down, again, being that dark type, if you could get a good combination of dark and grass type moves, it'll be interesting. I'm sure a lot of people will overlook Shiftry and forget that it is a dark type, so that'll be cool. As you can see, learning some pretty basic moves, um, you can level up whenever you want into a shift tree because it uses a grass stone to level up after this. So maybe wanting to level up after you get like Razor Wind, uh, potentially Swagger, because once you get shift tree, you do have a little bit of a lesser learn set. And um, as you can see, you get straight grass moves pretty much. So maybe wanting to learn Leaf Stone, uh, so obviously you're going to want to level up before level 49 probably, but otherwise... Pretty much same old, same old. I mean, nothing too crazy going on here, but as you can see, look at this guy. He looks like a combination between a tree and a ninja or samurai. I mean, look at those shoes or the feet. I mean, yeah, I'm it. Shifter is a pretty awesome Pokemon. So if we do continue on, we can see the uh, competitive uses of Shifter. And you got to admit, it's it's pretty commendable to be used in every single tier so he's been used in uber overused underused rarely used and never used and in competitive pokemon battling that is every tier unless i'm forgetting one i doubt i am but or at least all the major tiers let's leave it at that so pretty commendable i mean he's definitely have a rise and fall situation right there and yes i am in full screen so when it's good or yeah so as you can see it has some pretty good moves i mean being able to use sucker punch as a stab is going to be really useful its stats are not great, not bad. I mean, I think I'm excited for Shiftry not so much to be able to wreck everyone with him in battle, just because it's more, it's a cool Pokemon. So that's why I hope you're excited for Shiftry. I'm excited for Shiftry. Let's go back to the bot for though and just look at the C dot model. Look at that. You want that. I want that. I want to teach my C dot explosion and destroy everybody because no one's going to be expecting it. Yeah. Okay.